everyone, welcome to a new tutorial from Filmstorm Studios and today we're going to have a look at creating root motion for animations um, that are in place. So here you can see we've got a strafe locomotion set which we'll be putting on Gumroad very shortly and basically this contains a lot of animations that are based for strafing. So as you can see he's, he's walking backwards, he's going forwards but with the, the left and right ones you can see that he's actually just moving in place. So we want to learn how to create an animation that has the root motion built in, so he actually um, like moves through the world. So what we want to do is let's just double click on this pack, and that's gonna boot it up into Motion Builder. So we'll just give that a second to load up. And it's just gonna bring in all our animations. And as you can see, we've got our walking animation that doesn't have the root motion in it. So if we have a look at that south, let's just click that, at that south one, where he's walking backwards, you can see he's actually traversing through the space. But how do we correctly like guess how, how fast he should be moving and how do we make that happen? So what we want to do is we want to come to this, say this one, let's grab that root node. So you want to come down to the scene and grab the rootest node. And we want to create a new animation layer. And you can just keep it that or you can can rename it just to, to root motion so that way you know that this is going to be the root motion and because this animation is walking west he's going to be moving this way so like north east south west so he's going to be moving to the left so i find the easiest thing to do is whack down a key so make sure that you're in linear and you hit key you'll notice that this little keyframe appears here. So you wanna make sure that your root is selected. Um, you have the new animation layer, linear and hit key. You'll notice that this new little keyframe's popped up. You wanna to go to the very end and then we wanna grab our translate tool, translate, and we wanna move him to the left and move him about this far because we're gonna adjust this and hit key again. Make sure you're on that last frame. And now you'll see that he translates to the left. But the easiest way to see if he's actually not gonna be sliding on the ground is to lower the speed. So now you can see, you can really have a look at his feet and see, see how he's, it's kind of sliding there. That would mean that he's actually should be moving a little bit further to the left. So let's go to that last frame and let's just slide him a little bit more and let's key. And as you can see, it's practically stuck there, which is perfect. So that means we have the perfect root um, creation. So now let's um, work on that other one. So let's grab that east. Let's create that new um, root motion layer. Rotion, <laughs> root motion. And let's make sure that root node is still selected. Let's key the first frame. Let's jump this way and let's just key that. What we can actually do is jump back to this animation and let's go to properties. And as you can see, translation was 30989. So if we just copy that and let's jump back to this east location, we can actually make this negative that number, key it and you'll notice that it's perfect because um, both directions should be the same distance. Otherwise, it's gonna be weird sliding happening. All right, so let's jump that back to one, one time. So that's, this is real time speed. As you can see, we've got really nice motion happening. Really nice root motion. All right, and now let's just um, jump back up to this one and let's go control S. Let's just gonna save that file out. Let's jump back to Unity. Unity is just gonna quickly run through and update that for us. And depending on how many animations you have, it might take a little bit to actually um, compile again, because it's going, gonna go through and redo that. It's gonna give you a warning saying it's, um, it's basically re-imported that. And then as you can see in our West one, he now translates perfectly to the left and perfectly to the right and as you can see if we slow it down in unity 
there's no foot sliding at all. And that's the same with going forwards as well. You can see that we've got really nice, really, really nice foot um, motion, root motion. So basically that's a really quick tutorial on how to set up um, that root motion. Um, and it's probably the fastest way to get really nice results if you have in place um, animations. So basically with this pack, I'm just slowly going through and creating the, the root motion. Um, so I still have this one to do. Um, your idols, you never have to worry about root motion for idols. Um, see this one, I'd have a, the root motion just starting off in that animation. Basically, you pretty much have to do that for every single animation if you want root motion in your games, which is a pretty good thing because it makes it a lot easier to get really nice animations. So, well, thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next tutorial.